welcome back. In this episode we will cook a wild boar stew with boiled potatoes. For this recipe we used wild boar meat, dry red wine, mushrooms, tomatoes, yellow bell peppers, pork fat, cumin, juniper berries, bay leaves, dried cranberries, this is a key ingredient because we want to add a sweet but acidic base for our stew. It helps to tenderize our meat. Hot smoked paprika, sweet smoked paprika, salt, ground pepper, potatoes, garlic and white onions. We start by cutting the meat in cubes. We want boneless meat. It doesn't matter what part you use. Be sure that it has a small amount of fat, not too much. And be ready to cook it for at least 3 to 4 hours in total. Wild boar meat tends to be tough, so it needs time until it gets tender. We continue by dicing a white onion. For the exact amounts, look in the description below. We dice some mushrooms. You don't need to dice them too fine because they will cook for several hours. We do the same with the yellow bell peppers. We slice some tomatoes. Unless we crush and dice some garlic. This was all the slicing and dicing. Not a big deal, right? We use a cauldron to cook this dish, but you can use any big pot you have. We add the fat and wait until it melts. We add the onions and we sear them until they get translucent. We add the meat. We season with a pinch of salt. We cook the meat stirring frequently until the water that comes out of it evaporates. We add the yellow bell peppers and the tomatoes.
followed by the mushrooms. We sear them for a minute. And we add the cranberries. Cumin. Juniper berries. Bay leaves. Some diced garlic. And a pinch of salt and ground pepper. We give it a good mix to incorporate the spices. We add some water until we cover the meat and we let it cook for at least two hours. We gradually add water while cooking it to be sure that it doesn't stick to the bottom. When the meat is almost tender, we add some hot and sweet smoked paprika. We stop adding water and when we see that the water evaporates and starts to sear we add the dry red wine. We cook it for another 20 minutes and this is the consistency we love. While our pork stew rests, we cut our potatoes in big chunks and we season the boiling water with salt. We add the potatoes and we fully cook them. It can't get easier than that. Our dish is ready and we start serving it. This is how our wild boar stew with boiled potatoes look like. The meat has a very complex sweetness, with hints of saltiness and sourness counterbalanced with the boiled potatoes. It is simply amazing. Try it out and let us know what you think. If you enjoyed our video then please subscribe, like or leave a comment below. See you next time.